Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Last video on income report for the month of July. I've been doing for the last few videos an income report in a particular library and I want to share with you the final day of this month. And with subscription libraries what happens is that there's usually a delay. There's a 30 day delay when it comes down to the income because of downloads and whatnot. I don't want to get too technical about it because it doesn't really matter. What matters is how much money are we making with stock libraries. So today's the 31st of August as I'm recording this. But the takings that I have up until today are from the 1st of July all the way to the 28th of July. So even though it's the 31st of August, in theory, I still have a few days to go in order to close the month of July when it comes down to the income on Envato Elements. I might do a small follow-up video and see how much I earn between the day of 28th to the 31st of July. And, and see how much will that end the month officially. But I thought it was a good idea to just close this income report with this particular video because it's the last day of the month, right? And Envato is based in Australia, so all the takings and all the cycle of month to month is based on Australian local time. So for example, the takings on Audio Jungle will be up until today. For me, that I, I am based in Europe, I'm based in Greece, uh, around four o'clock in the afternoon, I believe, I get my final takings on Audio Jungle, right? It's like it's closed, like the month is over and whatever I've done in the month of August is up until today eh, around four o'clock in the afternoon. I am recording this in the morning right now. So uh, the, the doors are still open to make some sales. With that being said, uh, at the moment I have on Envato Elements, um, to, I'm up to $693, uh, all right? Uh, on my last day, which was a 28, uh, I did $13, almost $14. Again, the daily takings change quite a lot. The highest one that I had was almost $100. So you can see how, how imbalanced that is or how volatile it is. I don't know if that's the right word, but it could be anything as low as $13 all the way up to $100 on a daily basis, okay? Now, this is quite steady. I've earned on average between $20 to $30, even $40 on a day-to-day -day basis. But uh, for the month of July so far, it's $693. Dollars. This is really good uh, in terms of, of an income with just one particular library, which happens to be a subscription library. I know that some of you guys have mentioned in the comments that you guys are not involved with Envato Elements because it's only by invitation, and I completely understand that. The purpose of this video is just to show you what's possible. I will probably move on into different libraries like Pond5, Melody Loops, Motion Array, Motion Elements to see how the income uh, is, is is happening there in those libraries. The only reason why I like to share about the elements is because this is where I got started as a music composer. Audio Jungle was the first library that I started to submit music and it's the place where I got my foot in the door of music licensing. Later on, as I embarked in this journey as a composer for, for different libraries, I, I experienced rejection from various libraries. So music licensing is one of those industries where there is a lot of rejection. There is a lot of defeat because you have to apply. Right? And some libraries, they just have the doors closed. So that's just the nature of the beast. The income that I had from different libraries have been very consistent. Over the years, it has changed, obviously. We have experienced the highs and the lows. And subscription libraries has been one of the major um, factors for, for us composers to, to have a steady income. And that's the reason why I'm doing this type of videos. And like I said, I will probably move to different libraries which happen to have as well a subscription model in place. So it's not just enough to just sell your music at one time, um, on a one-time basis, but as well with subscription, meaning that the client will pay a monthly fee and then download your music for a monthly set fee. I will probably break down as well in a future video, what type of music am I actually selling here on Envato Elements, okay? Because the music that gets downloaded on Envato Elements is the same music that I have, for example, on Audio Jungle and on Pond5, and that music track performs differently on every single library. So I wanna share with you what type of music work, what type of music does not sell very well, whether it's on a subscription library or, or not, but most libraries nowadays, they're based on a subscription model. And there's been a lot of debate and a lot of hate 
towards subscription libraries, but that's the nature of the marketplaces now. That's the nature of the industry where it's going. And for a lot of people that found subscription libraries to be something bad, uh, in reality is what keeps us composers with a, a regular income. And, and in my case, this is true. And this is where, where I'm always promoting this uh, opportunity for us from back in the day when I first got started here on Stock Music Licensing YouTube channel, that you can earn between $500 and $1,000 per month. This is way before subscription libraries uh, were in place or they were the norm. Nowadays, it's even easier to earn $500 with just one library. And that's the purpose of this type of videos. Whether you are in that library or not, is irrelevant because I got friends who are, for example, on Artlist and they're doing way better than this. And I'm not part of Artlist. I got rejected by Artlist. So I'm on the same boat like you. There are some libraries who are gonna work for you and there are some libraries that are not gonna work for me. I'm gonna be rejected by other libraries and you're gonna get accepted by other libraries. I mean, even if you want to apply, like I was saying, to sync libraries and production exclusive libraries, it's gonna be really hard, right? It's gonna be really, really hard to get your foot in the door if you manage to just submit your music. That's step number one. Once you submit your music, if you find somewhere to submit your music and get accepted, then it's a question and it's a game of when your music gets placed, hopefully you, get, you will get an upfront sync fee or get some royalties, right? So it, either way, it's a long-term game. It's an uphill struggle for, for, for us composers, right? So the, the best way to snap out of this negative mindset is to see that it is possible to make money with your music. And in my experience, the easiest way to make money in music licensing and to get started and earn a regular monthly income is with stock libraries and with subscription libraries. And that's the reason why I do these videos because if I can do it, you can do it. There's people doing way better than me, but for me to see that someone else is succeeding in a library that I am not even taking part of, is just an inspiration enough to keep going in my own lane, if you will. And if Envato Elements is working for me, this is where I'm gonna be focusing. Just the fact that they're doing great there, it makes me more motivated to see what is possible for me. And in fact, I got many friends of mine that are doing great in Artlist, but they're not here in Envato Elements. And that's the way the nature of, of music licensing works. You know, some composers are over there, and, but they're not here. And for me, I am here, but I'm not over there. But it's still music licensing. We're still here to make music and earn an income. And that's the purpose of my videos. So I hope this income report video finds you well. I hope this is helpful to you and inspire you to get into music licensing if you've been thinking about it, or even if you are already doing music licensing but you're getting no results, hopefully this will inspire you to find your way of earning money somehow with your music because it is possible. I will be breaking down more of the type of music that has been selling on Envato Elements and other libraries as well. Again, Melody Loops, Motion Elements, um, Motion Array, Pond 5, of course, and, and see how all of that income adds up to literally a full-time paycheck here where I'm based anyways. I live in Greece. So I earned that with just one library, plus adding up all the other incomes from different libraries, which one of them are, are very little. They're just like a drip. And, and other ones are a little bit more consistent, but I, I feel grateful for every single one of them because at the end of the day, they just all add up to a full-time uh, income. It's just a full paycheck, at least here where I'm living, all right? And this is just with stock music. So, I mean, it's just something that I'm really passionate about since day one when I started this journey as a stay-at-home dad trying to make ends meet. And here I am, you know, still doing what I'm doing and still loving it. I've been composing some new music tracks lately, which I'm really excited about. Uh, you'll be surprised because if you've been following me, you know that I don't compose cinematic music. Cinematic music is not my genre, but I've been, uh, you know, experimenting with some cinematic inspirational music and it's been doing very well. And actually, I've been selling that music track as well, which it just bl blows my mind. So uh, I want to share more about that as well. I want to share with you my, my latest uh, cinematic tracks. Um, latest compositions. I'm really excited about this genre because it's something that I always wanted to do. I always wanted to get into cinematic music and, and this works really well 
in, 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 in music licensing. So I'll share more about those tracks in a future video as well and see how these tracks and these compositions are performing in different libraries, not only here in Envato Elements. I hope this video finds you well. If you are new to music licensing and you would like to get started and start earning money today online with your music, go and check the links in the description so you can get started for free. Free resources for you to just get started right now in music licensing. Thank you so much for all the love and support. I'll see you in another video, my friend.